Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are beginning a new month. So here I have my sinking funds tracker printable. Um, the link to the um, Etsy store I bought this from will be in the description box below. So it is a new month now. Wow. Literally we have less than 60 days before the year ends and we're still just as crazy as when we began this year miss rona leave literally so we're here to start setting up for the new month so i'll just grab my pile of stickers <laughs> and just do the same thing i did for last month so what i'll be doing is just the abbreviation basically so i'll be getting nov so n o o is there an orange one just for because it's halloween yeah, that's why, like, literally the November uh, printables have, like, um, well, I tried to put it in theme for the the holiday this month. And then, no, V, is there a green? Yay. Alright, so here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Air bubble, leave. There we go. Okay, I'm done with that. So I have here the October one just for reference so i'll just zoom you guys in and we can begin first step for this one is obviously to write down my categories so this time i'm not gonna make the dumb mistake of <laughs> switching conventions and christmas again so the first one for my categories is christmas not conventions because h comes before o i literally just said i was not gonna make a mistake here of course, because I was just copying what I had here. My god. Christmas, ma'am. Christmas. And then conventions. What am I doing? Electronics. Emergency. Games. Gifts. Household. Lifestyle and travel. Okay, so for goal amount, um, for last month I didn't really have a goal amount, especially because this was a new setup. I wasn't sure what I was doing, but now um, I do have goals for some of the um, funds here. So for games, I have basically three goals for this one. Especially because there are three games I know that are coming out in the next two, three years that I want. Um, two of them are coming out next year. And as for Final Fantasy 16, I'm not sure when that's going to come out. But because I don't want to kind of rush it the way I did with Final Fantasy 7 Remake, which I was so proud of. But the sudden amount of... Uh, UPS customs that came I was like holy boy so I'm gonna try and budget more for that one I don't even know how much it is because there's really no information on Final Fantasy 15 no not 15 that's been out for like five years what am I talking about uh, five five six uh four five years the Final Fantasy 16 has no definite release date yet they said the next amount announcement announcement for it will be next year like something about it or end of the year I don't know um, but yeah, so I will start saving up for that once I am finished saving up for the other two games, which are um, the new Story of Seasons um, 1, which is coming out in March. That's pretty easy because if it's going to be the same as the Story of Seasons um, uh, Friends of Mineral Town, then that's pretty uh, easy to start saving up for. And then next up is Rune Factory 5. Um, the Japanese version for it is coming out in May, but uh, the Western version, we're not sure. But I think they said, um, Marvelous said maybe at the end of like next, next year. So I can also start saving up for that quickly. And then after saving up for the amount for that, I can start saving up for Final Fantasy 16. I don't know the amount yet, but I'm just going to gauge probably close to a grand. Just like how uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake was. I mean, the remake was $600. Including the UPS customs fee, that was $700. So I'm trying to, like, 
save up for like eight hundred nine hundred dollars for that one so okay so i don't know if i'm gonna put anything for games so probably not right now um so what i have uh basically saved up uh i have a goal in mind is travel and that is seven thousand dollars because i want to have that much saved up for when we can start traveling again yeah so i'll just put lines on these babes so just seven thousand dollars so for current balance i will get my black pen again and i'll just copy from the october one so for christmas i have 260 dollars conventions is 420 electronics is 885 emergency is 110 for games no balance this month is, this month is the first one again and then for gifts is 75 for household is five dollars lifestyle is 40 and then travel is 1610 dollars and the total for that is three thousand four hundred five dollars so for the deposits um there's just gonna be a bit of discrepancy more so on the electronics side because i did mention it in one of my end of the month uh, videos for october i am a very small like small youtube income channel so right now on this channel i don't actually make anything um but my main channel my k-pop channel has just reached its threshold of hundred dollars so every single time uh your channel makes um over a hundred dollars that's when uh youtube deposits that into your bank basically and last month october i did meet meet i did meet my hundred dollar threshold and will be deposited into my account this month um so the thing is basically all of the numbers are gonna be the same with how it's been so far but for ele electronics there's going to be an extra deposit of a hundred dollars plus the sinking fund amount that i usually deposit well not really usually because i'm uh adjusting down now because this month uh because i've been saving up for my uh gaming pc and because i am buying it this month um i am lessening the amount of money i'm depositing now because as you can as you could have probably seen every single time every month as it got closer to no closer to november my deposits have been slowly decreasing every month so yeah so for this month i am depositing basically the same amount as per usual but for electronics there's an extra and it's not going to be in any of the um sinking funds uh, sinking fund deposits or the cash envelope deposits because it's going to be a one go kind of thing so i'm not going to be depositing the extra money during the sinking funds uh in the cash envelope um stuffing so yeah if that made sense at all in terms of deposits um for christmas i am depositing 25 dollars as per usual and then for conventions 10 dollars electronics this month went down to 25 i believe last month i was dropped i dropped 40 dollars but this month i am dropping 25 now because the biggest chunk of like i was saving up for is finally gonna be purchased so yeah i just realized i was not doubling it so i was just putting um the amount i'm putting in one stuffing cool so <laughs> so for christmas that's supposed to be 50 and then for conventions is $20. Electronics is $50. Emergency is $50. Games is $40. Gifts is $50. Household is $10. Lifestyle is $10. Household is $20 actually. Lifestyle is $20 as well. What am I doing? And then last but not least, as uh as always travel is 160 dollars all right so the total for this one is 460 dollars okay so i think uh that's that okay so that was that for setting up my sinking funds for the month of november i hope you guys enjoyed once again thank you guys for watching thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel for more budgeting related videos and remember to keep on shining bye